What's up blooms? In today's video, I'm sharing a DIY hair growth recipe using stimulating Ayurvedic ingredients. For this recipe, I'm starting off with cloves. Did you know that cloves can help to promote hair growth and reduce hair fall? That's because cloves are full of antioxidants that keep hair smooth and increases blood circulation in the scalp. Whole cloves or clove powder is a rich source of calcium, iron, potassium, and vitamins A and C. Next, I'm using one of my favorite herbs, horsetail. Horsetail contains the highest amount of silica in plants. Silica is a compound that helps to strengthen hair at the roots and provide shine. Silica doesn't promote hair growth directly, but it does strengthen hair and help to prevent thinning by delivering essential nutrients to your hair follicles. In this mixture, I'm also using Ayurvedic powders like amla, brahmi, cayenne, cinnamon, and ginger. I've used amla, brahmi, and ginger in my recipes before, but cayenne, cloves, and cinnamon are new to my routine. Cayenne pepper improves blood circulation and nourishes the scalp. Research has shown that the capsaicin in cayenne can help to trigger certain receptors and hair follicles that may boost hair growth. Cinnamon contains procyanidins that possess anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antifungal properties. These properties may help to protect the scalp and hair from free radical damage, irritation, and inflammation. Procyanidins are also believed to induce the antigen or active hair growth phase. Overall, cinnamon contains a variety of minerals, proteins, and vitamins that benefit hair health. To infuse the herbs and powders, I'm using mustard seed oil that is nutrient-rich in fatty acids such as omega-3s and 6, as well as hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil also contains high amounts of fatty acids and provide hair with moisture, shine, and nourishes the scalp. combining all of the ingredients, I placed everything in a mason jar and left them to infuse. You can infuse your oils for a week or even months for a super potent concoction. I ended up adding more hemp seed oil to the jar just to make sure that the container was filled all the way. After a few weeks, I'm using a nut milk bag to extract the oils from the herbs and powders. You can also use a cheesecloth for this process. Feel free to stop here, but I'm adding some essential oils like peppermint, ginger, and rosemary. These essential oils are also great for promoting hair growth and stimulating the scalp. Thank you. 
You can use this oil for scalp massages, hot oil treatments, and other DIYs like a pomade or hair grease. To turn this oil into a pomade, you're going to need beeswax, a butter, I'm using shea butter infused with moringa powder, and your Ayurvedic oil. Place the ingredients in a heat safe bowl over a double boiler until the ingredients have all melted. This process can take 7 to 10 minutes depending on how many ingredients you are using. Make sure that all of your ingredients have melted down completely before moving on to the next step. <music> This part is optional, but after everything has melted and cooled down, I'm adding a small amount of natural preservative to help extend the shelf life of the pomade. <music> I mixed everything together again, then poured it into my containers. You want to let your pomade completely solidify before using. You can use this pomade on your edges to grease your scalp or however you see fit. I ended up using a little bit more beeswax than I wanted, but this can be fixed by melting the pomade down again and adding more butter and oil. If you're new to Ayurveda or interested in making Ayurvedic products, be sure to do your research when it comes to knowing beforehand the benefits and potential side effects to certain ingredients. Do an allergy test when using new ingredients or products, especially when applying topically on your scalp and hair. I would also suggest using your Ayurvedic creations consistently to see maximum results. Hair growth doesn't happen overnight, but with a simple routine, balanced diet, and using products with natural ingredients, you should see major progress in your hair journey. But that's it for today's video, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for my next wash day video to see another way that I was able to use my Ayurvedic clove oil. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you next time.